Hey, DeAndre. Um, Chris Middleton got loose, obviously, in the last game uh, for 40. I'm curious for you, um, you know, earlier this year, I was talking about screens and kind of the details there. For you, when you're in drop coverage and you need to try to help out in some way, kind of what are what is your approach to try to make that uncomfortable on Chris? Um, mainly just, you know, playing both, you know, trying not to let uh, the big get behind me, but at the same time, still give him a little pressure to know that I'm still there and not always all the way committing to the big, but still give him a guard a little help to, for him to get back. How frustrating can it be against him? Because it feels like his game is going to be at the same pace, no matter what, right? Like you're not going to speed him up. And then the difference is going to be sometimes the tough shots go in and sometimes the tough shots that you contested are not going to go in. Yeah, I mean, great players meet great players, Um, you know, but our goal is just to make him uncomfortable and just keep doing what we do best on the defensive end. Hey, DeAndre, uh, Tim Bonzo from ESPN. We didn't get a chance to talk to you the other day. I was just kind of curious if you could walk me through what you saw in that play with Giannis at the rim. The Which one? The the one where you tried to dunk it on him in the fourth quarter. I mean, alley -oop? Yeah. I mean, like I said, great players make great plays. Um, he's Giannis. You know, he's a defensive player of the year. Um, you know, something that you got to risk is the finals. You got to get attempts like that. You know, nothing easy, to be honest. You uh, you guys were able to keep him away from the rim a lot more than you were in the prior games. Did, was there anything specific you guys changed up in terms of trying to wall off the paint and, and keep him a little bit farther away? Mainly just stepping up, playing defense, you know, not backing down to the challenge. That's about it. And then just, just one other thing. Um, Chris is one of the best guys in the league with the ball normally. I know it was on character Chris over to have five turnovers in game four. Did, did they change anything up in terms of putting more pressure on him, or was that just a, a one-off game when you expect that to change in game five? Um, I think it's a little bit of both. Um, you know, uh, we just got to really adjust, and, you know, just when adversity hit, we just got to pull through. We'll go back to Olivia on Zoom. All right, we're going to start with um, Martenzi Johnson from the Undefeated, followed by Cody Cunningham. Hi, DeAndre. Uh, Giannis is usually one of the league leaders in charges called against him, but then this year he's only had one. I was wondering, just as an opponent, how difficult is it to put yourself in a position when he's being aggressive um, attacking the basket to draw that uh, charge on him? I mean, um, you really just have to really uh, rely on your shifts. Um, just try to meet him early um, to avoid all of that contact and him really uh, putting pressure on the rim is just, you know, seeking him out early and sliding your feet, showing your hands early and before he attacks you, you know, before he throws a dribble out in front of you, just make sure everyone's back on defense, showing them a wall and everybody's ready to rotate. Next is Cody Cunningham with Suns.com, followed by Leonardo Torres. Hey, DA, uh, just what's been the overall mood around the team over the past couple of days and how much more emphasis does the situation put on the togetherness of this team, knowing that this is now a best of three series? I mean, we have a culture here, you know, um, games, and whether it's a, you know, a, a loss or a win, when we don't change the way we, you know, approach the game. We all still laugh and, you know, do what we have to do to, you know, really rejuvenate from anything we did before, um, you know, just coming together, talking. You know, it's, it's our culture, you know, coming in, seeing the net move and just, you know, talking about what we could do for the next game, stuff like that, you know, never changes. Next is Leonardo Torres from Baru, followed by um, Nicole Jarena. Hi, DA. It's Leonardo Torres from Baru. Hope you're well. DA, after watching the film, what positive did you take away from the loss on game four? And what do you need to improve for game five? Can you repeat that? After watching the film, what positives did you take away from the loss of game four? And what do you need to improve for game five? I mean, um, well, we played defense. Uh, there wasn't that much points scored in the paint last game. Um, I think that was the least amount of points throughout the uh, four games. Um, the negatives is just not turning the ball over and rebounding the ball. You know, we have to get these 50-50 chance um, baskets and, you know, try to give ourselves a chance to, you know, get an extra possession and, you know, just really being relentless. Next is Nicole Jarena from Puerto Rico. Hi, DA. The last year at the Bobo, you say NBA will be back. 
put some respect on our names. So I, this is good. <laughs> so how much means to you not just be back, be at the finals and have the opportunity to win a championship? And just to show the world that, you know, um, this organization, the Phoenix Suns organization, you know, um, what we're building, we're building a new culture and a new winning culture, new winning legacy, you know. Um, you know, us, we have a great group of guys who put in a lot of work. And, you know, um, you know, I feel that. And, you know, us coming up all the way where we are today as a unit, you know, you see where the hard work's going. And, you know, it's just something to really, you know, reflect on, but at the same time still try to take care of business. Um, next and last will be Andre Lopez from Puerto Rico. Thank you, DeAndre. That clip of uh, Coach Monty Williams motivating you on the sidelines has gone kind of viral recently. Going into game five, how is he uplifting you both as a player and as a person going into this new challenge? I'm really not changing my aggression of anything, you know, still be who I am, still dominate both ends of the floor and just be a presence. You know, um, I'm still, you know, uh, looking into great detail on how they're officiating me and, you know, how aggressive I can be. But at the same time, I'm not, I'm not forgetting on how we play, you know, what we do best. I'm still, I'm still on, you know, what we do. Thanks, DeAndre. Thank you, guys.